In most Thai homes and apartments, there are no kitchens. The first reason is the local cuisine is rather pungent, so cooking it at home just doesn't smell like a good idea. The second reason is that it's often easier and cheaper to just buy food on the street. Finally, kitchen furniture and appliances are expensive, well, duh, and take up a lot of space, double duh, while most Thai apartments are usually quite small. Vivid emotions can be shocking to our bodies. That's why, whether you're extremely happy or bursting with anger, your irises may change. And not just in size, obviously. Their color may get more intense, sometimes darker, while other times lighter. Guess what causes the most vivid color change? Moments of happiness. So, go and make your better half's eyes a tad brighter tonight. Warning, warning, warning. There are some body parts that may disappear in the future, and I'm not sure if I'm ready to say goodbye to any of my beloved bodily appendages. For example, our toes are under threat, and not just from athlete's foot. That's because we as humans used to rely on them for balance, but these days we don't need them as much because our center of balance is shifting and we no longer live in trees. While the majority of people rely on toilet paper during one of life's more private moments, Asian countries use alternative methods, and I needed to find out why. What if they know better? First, it seems that plumbing in Asia is just not made for paper. Go ahead, flush it, see what happens. It's unforgettable. And second, it's just more hygienic. Yep, toilet paper doesn't completely fulfill its responsibilities in removing everything thoroughly. Hi, bacteria, take a seat. Oh, I see you already did. Whoa. You've bought a new shirt. Oh, it's Lacoste. Classy. Wait, there should be a crocodile here, and it's a green pig. Well, it's a lesson to learn. Here's some tips to help you buy the original stuff next time. First, the bright green crocodile should be very detailed. If you can't see its eyes, teeth, feet, or red jaws, warning, you may have a faker. The manufacturer also uses mother-of-pearl buttons with two holes. Knockoffs often forget about this and use four-hole buttons. If you're planning on making a baby anytime soon, it's a good reason to lower the thermostat before slipping into the arms of Morpheus, or Neo, or Trinity, or all three, if that's your thing, not judging. That's because prolonged exposure to heat can affect male fertility in a bad way. Oh, don't say thank you, but I do hope to hear some baby sounds from your apartment soon. Like, nine-ish months soon. Parents of the world, kissing your offspring on the lips isn't the best idea to express your love. Not just because of what the little monsters put in their mouths, but because of what psychologists, not me, say about it. You may be sabotaging your kid's idea of personal boundaries. That could be a real threat to their safety if they don't learn how to say no. By the way, planting a big smooch on your little pumpkin's lips isn't the only taboo. Tight swaddling, force feeding, and aggressive tickling are on the naughty list as well. What am I hearing? Is that the water running? Dear, it's the middle of the night and you're bathing? I guess you're not going to dry your hair before coming to bed. Inappropriate. Your flowing locks are going to fall out and leave you shiny bald. Well, not exactly, but the chances are you'll get a headache, split ends, and scalp irritation as a thank you gift. Bacteria and germs are watching us. If only someone could invent something to protect us from them. Oh, wait, maybe it could be washing our hands with soap. Yeah, sometimes we're too lazy to do it, but let's let one teacher tell you a short but very exciting story. She took two pieces of white bread, against their will, I might add, and forced them to participate in an experiment. Each piece was touched by all the kids in her class. The first piece, before washing their hands. The second one, after washing their hands with warm water and soap. Each slice was then placed in separate plastic bags. A month later, the second slice of bread didn't have any obvious bacteria on it, while the first example, the dirty hand slice, was covered in spectacularly gross mold growths. Where's the bathroom? I might need to wash my hands, throw up, or both. 
The loop on the back of button-down shirts was added in the 1960s. The shirt could then be hung on locker pegs to avoid creasing. Great life hack, though I never used it. But that's not this invention's only secret. In the past, American students used to snip off the loops to show that they were taken. People, or women, could see that a gentleman wasn't free anymore. I hear there's a ring for that, too. Most young women in Thailand wear long dresses and skirts, and may even wear tights underneath. The reason is simple. Thailand is a pretty conservative country. But being conservative doesn't mean they aren't creative, especially in naming their kids. How do you feel about Achara Pancakes or Saja Wi-Fi? There's a belief that evil spirits can't harm a kiddo if they don't know its name. That's why Thai children usually have two names, an ordinary and a secret one. People who blush easily often hate that trait in themselves. But in fact, it works like a charm, enabling those shy guys with red cheeks to build rapport with those around them. That's because blushing is impossible to imitate, and it shows others you're authentic. By the way, if you're still looking for your better half, potential mates will also trust you way easier than those who don't have rosy red apples in their cheeks. I can identify your personality if you let me check out your footwear. Wow, these shoes look new and perfect, but yet the weather outside is so frightful. I know, it's not quite Christmas. I bet you may worry about how you look and what others may think of you. But if you're okay showing up in public with old sneakers, my money is on comfort being one of the most important things to you. And you're also an agreeable person, too. They say that bubble wrap is perfect for times when you need to keep warm. So if you're out in the woods and suddenly feel as cold as ice, wrap some around you and enjoy the heat. What? You didn't take bubble wrap into the forest with you. What were you thinking? It is a stress reliever after all. Hmm. Well, you aren't going to die today. I'm going to save your life. Again, because I'm a giver. Use some dry leaves instead. They also can act as a nice insulator. Hygiene might seem like the least of your concerns when you're lost in the wilderness. However, you may need to disinfect your hands to treat yourself when performing minor operations. For example, sewing yourself back together after a bear mauling. And ash from campfires can be just as effective as soap. Piranhas can tear apart a human body in a matter of seconds. What? Do you actually believe this, Fudge? I'm guessing that you've been watching a few too many cheesy horror flicks. Try switching to something more educational. National Geographic, Animal Planet, whatever. They'll tell you that those cute little choppers are actually really timid and cautious, not the aquatic buzzsaws you see in movies, and that there are no recorded human deaths from piranha attacks. However, that's not the case with sharks. If you're terrified of quicksand and believe that a person may be easily buried in it, you've been fooled, as was I. Turns out that's a trick Hollywooders use to terrify us to the core while watching movies. In fact, quicksand is quite dense, so much so that neither human nor animal can drown in it. Phew, in that case, where's my Speedo and straw hat? I'm heading to the beach. If one day you need to pick a Brazilian out of the crowd, for whatever reason, look for what's sticking out of people's bags. My sources say that Brazilians carry toothpaste and toothbrushes everywhere they go because they brush their teeth after each snack or meal, at work, in cafes, anywhere. You may also notice them washing their hands both before and after they go to the restroom. Who knew they were such hygiene superstars? I adore the world of movies. Where else can I see a cop crawling through a ventilation shaft or a special agent shadowed by a picturesque explosion in the background? Sorry to burst your bubble, but those events can only live in our imagination. Ventilation ducts are way too narrow for humans. After a bomb explodes, there are no fireballs rising into the sky. Not one. All you really see is dust and debris filling the air.